Yo, what up, YouTube? This is Studded Banana here, and today I have a CC Radio Blur tutorial for you guys. Um, before I get started, just a little announcement. Um, I did get rid of my Sony Vegas because I usually don't edit that, edit with that software anymore. Um, if you guys are disappointed because I'm not making tutorials on that anymore, if I will still make tutorial for you guys if you demand it. I will re-download Sony Vegas to keep you guys happy. So if you guys need a Sony Vegas tutorial for anything, hit me up. I'll re-download it, and I'll upload the video for you guys. Um, until then, I'm just going to be doing Adobe After Effects uh, tutorials for now, because that's what I work best with, and that's what I'm really, you know, known with. So, um, all right, enough of that. Let's get started with this tutorial. Um, okay, to do CC Radio Blur, first thing you want to do, add your clip. All right, once you've added your clip, I'm going to get just straight to the point. I'm not going to just, you know give you guys BS the whole time. Um, what you need to do first is add a new adjustment layer. I use the adjustment layer is because it's more way more organized than just adding it straight to the video clip itself. Um, and the adjustment layer you can uh, take it off screen and you can totally uh, do whatever you want with it without messing up where the clips at. Alright, um, so now that you have your adjustment layer selected uh, you want to right click and go to effect or go to the tab up here that says effect and select blur and sharpen and click on CC radio blur. When CC radio blur is selected you can either do it from here but if you want more a more precise and you want to make sure you've done it exactly the way you want it um, go ahead and select the CC radio blur and click on this arrow to the left of it and it will drop down to effects and transform go ahead and click on effects and there's CC radio blur go ahead and give that click an arrow and um, now you would want, okay, you see a mount, right? Okay, from the, you don't want the CC radio blur to slowly start into where you want to shoot or get that start up. So you want to start your stopwatch from 0, 0.0 from the start of your clip. Then you're going to want to find where you want the CC radio blur to come in, hence where you would shoot or any type of stuff like that. So he shoots about right here, or I shoot rather. Um, go ahead, and now you want to add another 0.0, .0 keyframe. So go ahead and give this diagonal diamond looking box a click to add a keyframe. Now go up one next frame, just one more frame. Now go ahead and type in 7. 7 is the most perfect radio blur I think is best. If you want like a crazy radio blur, then go ahead and go any higher, but anything higher, it looks really messed up. Like, look, you can't even see the picture at all. It looks totally distorted. So make it at seven. Seven's the best. You can go with six, but six, you know, six and seven's almost the same. It doesn't really matter. Seven, I think, is the best. Okay, so now what you got is a clip that basically has nothing on it. And the second you shoot, Bam! Radio blur happens and adds a really cool effect. Now, the length of the radio blur is important. You don't want to have it. You don't want to have the radio blur like going crazy and super long. So, from a very like so from this thing right here, because it makes a big difference on length. Go ahead and drag that all the way to the left and um, to where it's totally zoomed out to where you got you know it's I think it's going by twos now in the seconds. Um, so now I usually have it from the zero points uh, from the seven. I usually have it about right there. That should be just perfect. So now you're gonna add another seven keyframe, go up one more keyframe, and drop a zero. Now what this will do is see you'll have no CC radio blur. Then when you shoot, there's your radio blur, and then now you want it to end. So now it ends. So this is basically what you have when you add it. Just give it a little second to render out. I got this just doing trick shots with a couple of friends. Just decided to use this video for you guys today. All right, so this is what you got. It kind of gives it that little effect. See, that's a little bit too long for me. I don't like it that long. So I'll just grab this keyframe. Well, actually, because there's, I forgot, I added a zero and a, so a zero and a seven. So you want to kind of do that because if you Grab the zero and move it over, it goes backwards. So you don't want to do that. Just grab the clip underneath it, drag this a little bit more in, drag this in, and then go back out. 
Oh, hit the zero. And let's see what we got. Perfect. And that's about it, guys. That's CC Radio Blur. And um, this is the tutorial for CC Radio Blur. And um, I really hope this helped you guys. And like I said, if you guys need a Sony Vegas tutorial, shoot me up a message on my either Skype or my uh, YouTube. If you guys want a tutorial for uh, Sony Vegas. As well, if you have any problems with Adobe After Effects or doing this tutorial, leave a comment, Skype, YouTube. Alright guys.